So it looks like a lot more information about the next Battlefield title has surfaced. Now in this video I'll be going over the weapons, gadgets, and share some screenshots with you about the upcoming shooter from Electronic Arts. Now the most important part of today's video would be the fact that we now have a confirmed title for this new game. Now it is believed to be titled as Battlefield Hardline. Now my good friend Battlefield Daily on Twitter had actually found everything I'm going to be using to make this video. So if you do want to go check him out, I will leave a link to his Twitter down below. He's a genuinely nice guy and is really good at reporting news as soon as it gets put out there. So I do highly recommend following him if you have Twitter. Besides that, we have three screenshots from Battlefield Hardline so far. You can see them on your screen there. Now the first one looks to be in a city of some sort. You can see a burning car and scattered debris all over the place. By the way, if you can't see the screenshot because you're watching this on your phone or whatever, I will leave links to everything in the description if you want to go check it out and see a larger image of what I'm showing in the video. Now to me this map kind of looks like it's located in a major city of some sort, possibly an American city like Chicago or Los Angeles. Now this new Battlefield game is going to be centered around a SWAT team facing off against a group of thieves. So based on that you can assume that all maps will be centralized around urban combat, possibly hostage situations or terrorist plot locations. Now supposedly somebody from Visceral Games has come out and said that the main focus of this game will be fighting crime and they are taking an entire new direction with FPS games as a whole. So if you take that information and think about a new game mode called Heist and another game mode called Blood Money, we have two more screenshots about these two game modes. Now it looks like Heist will probably be similar to a bank robbery and Blood Money might involve a team deathmatch of some sort. Now I really like the direction in which this game is headed. I always wanted a strictly combat urban environment to play on when it comes to Battlefield. Now this kind of ties back into an all-American DLC idea that a lot of people have had since Battlefield 3. This DLC or game would have maps that are focused around urban combat in American cities. Now for me that would be a really cool idea, I've always wanted to fight on the streets of LA or Chicago since I know a lot about the two locations. Now I am kind of tired of playing on maps in these different countries that I'm unaware of, so to me it would be a really cool idea for either a DLC or a game in general. Now if Battlefield Hardline has this type of combat, I'm going to be really excited for this game, which by the way it is going to be shown at E3 this year and released later on this fall according to the official Battlefield website. As with all the gaming news, I'll be keeping you guys up to date on this new Battlefield title throughout the longevity of E3 as well. Now the unveiling of this new game will happen on June 9th at 12pm PDT. As always, you can watch it at ea.com e3. So with that said, I've got some screenshots of the weapons that are most likely going to be in this new game. As you can see, we've got everything from AK-47s to a stun gun or a taser. Now one thing I noticed right away when I saw this was that almost all these weapons have been in previous Battlefield titles. I mean we've got the crossbow or expo, G36, and even the M16, and also the riot shield which we are getting with the new Dragon's Teeth DLC for Battlefield 4. So this new game is going to feel a little bit different to your standard military Battlefield title, but overall it's going to feature the same things. I mean even the weapon attachments for optics are pretty much the same as Battlefield 4. Now some people might call this game an exact copy of Battlefield 4 since it does have the same variety of weapons and such, but I honestly think it's going to be a good game based on what we know so far. Now Visceral Games, a developer known for the Dead Space series, are making this new Battlefield game. I haven't played too much Dead Space 1 since it was free on Origin a few weeks ago, but I really enjoyed the time I played of it, and I'm excited to see what Visceral can bring to the table. Anyways, I want to know your opinions on this new Battlefield game. Are you going to be picking it up this fall, or are you going to see how the release goes before buying? Please leave all your thoughts and concerns down below in the comments. Now in addition to that, make sure to leave a thumbs up on this video and share it around with your friends so they can hear about this upcoming Battlefield game. Now if you enjoyed, then make sure to subscribe to always be up to date on the latest Battlefield news. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, if you're interested in reading any of the information I used for this video, make sure to look in the description for sources to all the articles and websites. But with that said, thank you very much for watching today's video. This has been Zynob and I hope to see you all in the next one.